So we're looking at another trig identity here. This time we're looking at the Pythagorean identity. So the name tips you off. It's going to have something to do with Pythagoras. Um, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So let's take a look at how to build up this uh, Pythagorean identity. We've got a point here. We've got a triangle here. Now this is a unit circle, so it has a radius of 1. And you should remember by now that this length here is equal to sine theta. And this length here is equal to cos theta. Now if you take a look at that triangle for a minute, you'll see it's a right angle triangle. And you'll notice that we're talking about the Pythagorean identity. So you'll start putting 2 and 2 together. And you'll realize that we can put those numbers into Pythagoras' theorem. So, Pythagoras' theorem is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. The c squared in this case is the radius, 1 squared. 1 squared equals a squared. Uh, let's do it in this order. Sine theta squared plus cosine theta squared. Careful. It's cosine theta squared. Uh, I'll just write one more line here, and this will finish off our trig identity. 1 squared is simply just 1. Now, sine, sine theta in brackets squared gets written so much uh, that it's got its own special little shorthand. Sine to the power of 2 theta. Now, that does not say sine to the power of 2 theta. This says sine theta squared. It's just a special shorthand that avoids brackets and, and makes things a little bit neater for us. Similarly, this gets written so frequently that we write cos to the power of 2 theta, which actually says cos theta squared. This is the important part. That's your Pythagorean identity, and you can use it in obviously three different ways. If you see the number 1, in anything, you can replace it with sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, or sine theta squared plus cos theta squared. If you see, um, let's do a, let's rearrange this. If you see one minus cos squared theta, you could replace it with sine squared theta. And similarly, if you see one minus sine squared theta, you could replace it with cos squared theta. Important to note that these are your Pythagorean identities. You only really need to learn one and then you can rearrange it to make the other two. That's the Pythagorean identity.